hey what's going on guys it's me aiden welcome back to miraculous monday we did hit a bingo last week so i guess hopefully we don't hit one this week as always because i always don't want a new bingo card uh well speaking of the bingo card here is the bingo card for this week so uh yeah hopefully my luck is a little bit better because we just came off of a lot of bingo cards so i would like to have a little bit of a break you know <laughs> Uh, I am still a little bit sick, so if my voice sounds a little raspy or whatever, that's why. Hopefully it's not as bad as yesterday, because I recorded this. I made a news video yesterday for me, but it will have been last Friday for you. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, we're going to hop right into this video. More of that, please. More of Lady Noir acting like Adrian at, and Adrian at acting like Lady Noir is not a want, it's a need. Well, yeah, obviously because they're the same people and eventually it's all going to merge together you know that's how it works right once the reveal all gonna merge together you know that's how it works so it is going to happen and that's why you see them sort of merging together because that's how it works just realized marinette says meow meow instead of blah blah when cat was talking lmao Okay, so we got a video here. Let's see. I don't think this, this should be fine. Well, that birthday boy date of yours is bad news. But don't worry. You'll be safe with me. Eh. I think she's saying, yeah, yeah, not loud. Or not meow, meow. Well, that birthday boy date of yours is bad news. But don't worry. You'll be safe with me. Yeah, no, she's saying, yeah, yeah. Good try. Let's see it. Is anyone else thinking that too? I, yeah, I hear yeah, yeah as well. So I don't know. What I'll do is I will bump up the audio right here and I'll play it and then I'll let you guys determine. So let's play that here. Well, that birthday boy date of yours is bad news, but don't worry. You'll be safe with me. If Ladybug says it, it's good enough for me. Cat Noir, you know you're irreplaceable. Don't worry, Phantom Cat Noir isn't going anywhere. Yeah, he better not go anywhere. He doesn't get enough credit yet. But once the reveal happens, hopefully at the end of the season, things change. Okay, guys? Big things are happening at the end of uh, the, at the finale. If you didn't see my last video, definitely go check it out. Big news. So, I, hit, I think I hit the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, big, big things coming in, in the future. So, I'm really looking forward to Cat's bigger role eventually. Because it, it'll eventually happen, right? What? I was just watching Roger Cop and found something. Julika wearing a white dress. That's interesting. I never noticed that. Huh. That's really big. I didn't know that. I bet the Phantom's going to explode from this new information. Interesting. A little edit I made. We got another video. Here we go. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, this is long. Okay. I'm not going to play this whole thing, but yeah, that's really cool. It just flips through all of them. Yeah, that's really cool. Good job. I like that. I swear Marinette is the worst at hiding when she transformed. It does feel like this, doesn't it? That's... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I definitely this this is because like I, I don't know it's just so many times it's like she's just going around a corner like there's got to be someone at like who's see, who sees her going around the corner and sees ladybug coming out right like like surely whatever it's fine it just is funny how obvious she is i've been thinking about this for too long if Ladybug gives Cat Noir a magic charm, she can completely avoid a scenario similar to Cat Belong. That's true. Although we don't really know the full implications of the magic charm, probably because Ladybug doesn't even know the full implications of the magic charm. We also don't know if she can, like, make them at will, because, like, why doesn't she make one for herself to carry at all times and for Cat and, like, literally all the other heroes, right? Because then... You know, you wouldn't, it just would solve a lot of problems, I think. And honestly, start mass producing them, bro. You could make a huge 
profit you know like like say sell the charms right authentic from ladybug right magically made like even just like for one dollar because like you know for one you would make a huge killing right because everyone in paris would want one and two it would it, it would save you time because you wouldn't have to like save people right and then what you could do is globally mass produce them and and then hawk you would have essentially defeated hawk moth right he'd be done and he'd have to do senti monsters at that point but you would be putting the lives of innocent people as far as them getting akumatized out of the way right because then the only way that they would be hurt would be from a senti monster right in which you can't help that but it at least eliminates hawk moth the hawk moth side of things right and then if you somehow defeat the peacock and get the peacock miraculous then you're good to go right then because then the hawk moth miraculous is essentially rendered useless unless if people are wanting to use it so i don't know there's my business opportunity for ladybug uh if anyone knows her number give it to me so i can uh let her know <laughs> the hamster oh we got a squishy little hamster here i love this style it's so cool very chibi-esque as i mean that's probably it is that's what the style is right it's chibi and then obviously this person's own unique style thrown onto it yeah i like it you still need to know what that hamster's name is though i painted cat noir on procreate oh this is so cool i love this seriously you need to set up a shop and start selling these because i'm sure like if you because i'm pretty sure they make websites where you just like upload artwork right and then create a shop and then like the website will handle all the printing things but like if you start making posters like this is seriously like high quality like poster material you could definitely sell stuff like this you should get on that because this looks really good my first miraculous ladybug fan art ever i picture them a bit older in here hope you guys like it hey i do like it this is like a time skip you know after a few years we could we could do with one of those that'd be cool like maybe after season five because you know they said they were they're wrapping up the current story arc or whatever you know maybe there's going to be a time skip and then we would see something similar to this that'd be pretty cool and hopefully the reveal will be at this point too so i don't know i'm looking forward to it aha not wrong Aki treats his akumas better than his son aged by mind fair point you got him that's that is a uh <laughs> a very true statement unfortunately because because here's the thing he spends more time on them right because he has to go down and like you know do a lot of like planting and things that's more time than he spends with his son bro that's sad what did they see wrong answers only uh oh why why has it been locked that's interesting hmm what did they see they saw Chloe dressing up as ladybug and i don't know they just saw chloe as ladybug except it was, or well no she saw chloe in the process of dressing up as ladybug so it was ladybug except like maybe she was putting on the wig or something i don't know hmm or maybe maybe here's an interesting one dressing up as ladybug put on like a bald cap or something like that so they saw her bald that's not how it works i'm pretty sure but like just in theory right like maybe since chloe's like super prestigious right she wants to do it right so she gets a bald cap <laughs> but then she looks temporarily bald and then she puts on the wig to make it look more realistic <laughs> and so they walked in <laughs> on the bald cap maybe that'd be funny please don't judge me i'm just a gamer who likes miraculous petition for a good miraculous fighting and story mode video game yes that'd be great because i mean we do have some mobile games but they're eh not super great i haven't tried the crush one but the running game that that is like riddled with like ads as well as like wanting to get you to buy things and it's actually annoying because it's like super expensive too but like yeah it'd be nice like especially one if it was like the gamer episode like that'd be cool right or gamers 2.0 actually so if they made something like that that'd be pretty awesome tiny details make a huge impact observe their body language ladybug is reaching out to cat noir while hawk moth is protecting himself says a lot about their character yeah 
I'm pretty sure we've seen like this exact same post or one like very similar to it before. Probably closer to when Capulanc was actually released. So yeah, we've seen between last week and this week, we've seen a lot of Capulanc posts, which is interesting. It's just like one of those ones that everyone loves. So it, it's understandable why we see it so often. I just think it's neat. I just love the fact that the Adrian at Lucky Charm stayed consistent and relevant throughout the entire show to this point. Yes, it has. That's that's one of the ways that we know that it's the OTP and it will happen. We won't let transition chips get in the way. Yay. Rise up. I guess. I don't know. We're getting there, guys. The transition chips are already out of the way. It was a way quicker arc than I thought it'd be. So we're just on the slow ride because either this finale or the next finale, it's going to happen. All right. So we just got to wait a little longer. She gets it from her grandma, lol. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Although she's only really ever done this once. So, I mean, maybe if we saw, I mean, we don't really know enough about her grandma or we haven't seen her enough to know if this is like a thing that she does normally. But like we've seen a lot of ladybug and she hasn't done this all that often so i don't know maybe she does it a lot off camera or maybe it was just a one-time thing like come on cat noir it was only a one-time thing i don't know and i mean okay they're both their expressions are both sort of like scolding kind of so i guess i could kind of see that ladybug doesn't scold too often so i mean it sort of depends on what you're thinking of but uh so yeah maybe i could see it i could see it i i i can't bye i love how these all rhyme red bread bed and coma or emily or grass no doesn't rhyme they really need to learn how to be better parents the bad parenting squad i feel like we saw a post it wasn't like didn't have the same like title or anything but it was the same a similar theme right it was like showing all the characters with with bad parents right so it was like sort of a similar idea but it showed like adrian because like obviously adrian his, his father is not very good so and then it showed like chloe and kagami and luca i believe so i think those were the four characters listed i believe and it was something similar to this so similar but not the exact same but yes the bad parenting squad they should they should start like a like a, a podcast or something <laughs> what do you guys think about this lmao uno reverse card yeah I, I, nah nothing so i'm good I, I think the other one their normal version looks looks a little better you know y you know eh, yeah no definitely stick with the original i'll take that i'm gonna just bleach my eyes and say this never happened thomas Sustruct, and he's been verified too congratulations thomas i believe i remember seeing that uh many of you have been asking what ship will be end game after a lot of reflection time luke gadrian will be the end game thanks <laughs> very nice thank you thomas you you heard it here guys luke adrian luke G luke adrian is now the OTP endgame. You you heard it here. Okay. Obviously, this is a joke, guys. I'm very likely going to make this the thumbnail and title. So just know that that's like a clickbait title to get you guys to click. So if you click just for this post, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> I'm sorry for clickbaiting you, but hopefully it was worth it and you actually enjoyed sitting through these Reddit posts. Because if you didn't, that'd be pretty sad, right? And then you, you you probably don't like me because because I made you click on a video that you were like oh look great so uh, <laughs> yeah well thank you for watching I guess but anyway guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy you can leave a like and subscribe for more content support to this and I will see you in the next one goodbye just realized Marinette says meow meow instead of blah blah when talking to Cat Noir oh actually that's wrong I didn't even realize. I was just watching Roger Cop and found something. Uh, I, I, Julica? What? Huh? What? What? Okay, whatever. I painted. I painted. Yeah, I painted. Guys, I'm dying here. My throat is hurting. <laughs>
This is so dark, but she's not dead, guys. They really need to learn how to do that. 